Right, I'm back with another Outriders video because we are still in the kind of dead time of Destiny here. Uh, I know some other stuff dropped in like Genshin Impact and stuff, but I'm very far behind on that because I am devoting almost all of my free time to grinding four Outriders classes. Um, I have finished two, I am on like pretty much the last quest on another one, and then I am slowly working my way through my PC uh, Pyromancer, which is what I usually have footage up here of. Um, I, my goal is to kind of get all four of them to endgame and then just sort of rotate through uh, each of them grinding the uh, challenge tiers. I also kind of just held off on challenge tier expedition stuff because there were so many connection issues and so many crashes, especially on um, Xbox where you would just exit out of your inventory and the whole game would crash and those have mostly been fixed. Um, but we also, I'm also kind of waiting to see if they do any more kind of enemy balancing and enemy scaling stuff uh, for the expeditions because uh, some of it gets kind of out of control at higher levels right now. But um, in the interim, I wanted to just kind of talk about my overall impressions of each class now that uh, I played a long time with each of them, um, three full campaigns, probably a half campaign on the other one, um, but then also just a lot of demo time in general. Um, we will start with Trickster, which was my uh, quote-unquote main. I started the campaign with Trickster uh, the day the game launched, um, and that was not the case in... The, the demo, I picked Pyromancer first, um, but then <laughs> following my own advice to um, maybe not pick Pyromancer first because it takes a little while for Pyromancer to get better, uh, I went with Trickster because it's just so instantly fun with the teleporting and time slowing abilities, uh, the Vorpal Blade, I guess you could call it, and everything else um, on that front. Uh, I still really enjoy the Trickster. Um, it is one of the strongest classes right now, certainly. Uh, the it, it was so strong it had to have its anomaly rounds nerfed uh tw i think they're twisted rounds is that what it is for them um because you could essentially get those infinitely and stack all these damage buffs and you were just doing uh an absurd kind of bugged amount of damage uh with that but i've only done i, I think i'm on like challenge tier 10 or something before i stopped uh something like that so it's you know, I'm not quite all the way there, but it was a very fun class to to play through the campaign with. Um, my skills that I like, uh, the time bubble just kind of always seems like a must for me. It is something you can use uh, offensively or defensively, and uh, in a game that's constantly throwing like rushers at you, it's just kind of nice to just pop that and then slow them all, and then you can kind of get all these debuffs on them too uh, when they're in that. One of my favorite skills was the Time Knife, which I guess I'm calling it. It's like the Venerator something or another. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but whatever the Bouncy Knife is, um, it not only slows enemies, but it tags them and it makes you do more damage to them. And it just, you know, it, it makes enemies melt and the cooldown on it is very low. So you can kind of spam that a good amount. Um, I, I modded that up so it would bounce to as many enemies as possible for Expedition. So it would kind of slow these parts of the mobs uh, in the room without having to pop a bubble. The other skill, um, it, it did feel like anomaly rounds were probably, uh, the or twisted rounds were the thing to do because they were just so strong. I haven't really played Trickster since the nerfs. I know they, they really increased the cooldown on that. Um, when I was playing just the campaign and I was doing the uh, any, any human missions, I would always kind of have teleport because you always want to <laughs> pretty much have the ability to teleport to snipers because uh, otherwise they will just ruin you. And it was really kind of... Um, gratifying to teleport around the field and uh, just shred everyone that way because the cooldown on that is pretty low. Um, I wish there were, um, I think all the classes kind of need anomaly buffs, maybe minus Devastator, but uh, the, the firepower builds are just so strong that you feel a little obligated to go down that tree and to use things like Twisted Rounds because they're they're just that strong. Um, there's obviously things you can do like the infinite Twisted, twisted Rounds thing where you get kills when you're under... 35% magazine, it refills your Twisted Rounds, and you just keep going and going and going. Um, and that's why, that's one of the reasons Trickster is so strong, so you can do stuff like that um, with, with its rounds, and so can many of the other classes, but Trickster has a lot of nodes in its skill tree that just kind of amplify damage to a pretty heavy degree. Um, I have not fully experimented with like kind of all of its skills, some of them I just uh, left behind. I did use the skill where you can, um, you can get a bunch of bonuses when you... Uh, like press it to uh, leave a, a rally point and then you go all over the map and you get bonuses and then you can, if you're in trouble, you can kind of warp back to the original point. I thought that was good, uh, especially in the campaign where you can also uh, often find yourself surrounded and then just it's kind of your get out of jail free button. Uh, and there were a lot of bonuses you could kind of stack on top of that to make um, 
you a lot more powerful as that was active and pretty much have that active all the time. So Trickster, I really like. I have set it down for a while in favor of other classes, but um, I'm sure the nerfs didn't like totally ruin it, but I know some of the top, top tier builds had their DPS like cut in half. Uh, we'll move on to the Technomancer, which I did second. And that is probably, I think, the most consistently high outputting DPS class in the game right now for end game stuff. Um, kind of spreading tox damage and tox effect on everything is is one of the major like, builds that everyone uses with that. Um, I think it's called Toxic Rounds. I don't remember the exact name of everything, but that's, again, that, that had the same sort of issues where they had to nerf a bunch of things that were trickster related. I think they nerfed uh, Vulnerable and the amount of damage you could do to uh, toxic enemies, things like that, because it was putting out too much damage for them. Um, I have actually not done Toxic Build with Trickster. I have done pretty much exclusively uh, Freeze Builds ever since I got the mod, the final turret, and the mod where you could turn the second turret into also Freeze. And um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not using Tox Rounds either. I am using uh, both turrets, so the regular Cryo Turret and then the Toxic Turret you turn into Freeze with one of the mods. And then I'm using the Flash Freeze ability, which freezes all enemies in a huge area, especially if you have a mod for increasing the radius of that. And I don't, that may not be the highest <laughs> uh, DPS build in the game, though you can debuff a lot of enemies uh, when they're frozen and do a ton of damage to frozen enemies with that build. But it is kind of fantastic for uh, CCing these, these big groups of enemies that uh, will kind of overwhelm you, especially when you're playing solo. And um, it's been kind of invaluable for that. And once you freeze enemies, then you can do, you can pop them with your weapons that have the kind of AoE explosion effects. So you can kind of chain explode uh, a bunch of frozen enemies, uh, which I very much enjoy. Um, the problem with the freeze build I found is that it's very poor against a lot of bosses, uh, especially a lot of bosses that are um, very high resistance and things like brood mothers, where it essentially just means you don't have a third ability because you're like flash freeze will never freeze them. Your turrets will take a million shots to freeze them if they don't get one shot. Uh, so that has been kind of a problem. And in those situations, you almost want to switch to Twisted Rounds because it's just more damage and you cannot apply the status effects to which your entire build is based on. So that's kind of an issue. Um, Trickster, you run into that a little bit with like a bunch of Alpha Perforos being immune to your slow bubble and just mobbing you. Um, but that's kind of an, an issue with the game in general where some of these enemies are just immune to so much stuff that is kind of, it, it'll just negate your entire build kind of on a whim and you may not know like when that's going to happen, so you're just kind of screwed and out of luck when that does happen. That said, uh, I really enjoy Technomancer. It's just, sometimes it does feel like a little, like you're just kind of running around avoiding enemies and then every few seconds throwing turrets and then like popping a lightning whip shot on someone and, and continuing to run. Um, that's mostly when you're in boss mode. When you're in like mob fighting mode, it's, it's a little better because you feel like you're a little more of an active participant rather than just waiting for your turrets to do everything. Um, but you know, I, it, it, there's no denying that Technomancer is probably the most uh, effective class in the game right now. Um, then I started uh, Pyromancer on PC. I have been having the most trouble kind of making Pyromancer work. I know Pyromancer is another class that can have really high DPS endgame builds, and I think there are some even good anomaly builds for it, but I've been struggling. Um, like, I've I posted, you know, my clips of playing as Pyromancer on PC, and like maybe part of it is, is me not being as used to PC controls. Uh, as I am a uh, console at this point where I'm running my three other characters. But I just, I like, I find like myself changing uh, builds kind of almost every mission and like trying to figure out something new that works because what I have is just doesn't feel quite right. Um, and the healing mechanic is a lot different than the other ones. And you really have to be conscious about which enemies you're killing that will or will not heal you. It's not just, um, you know, for two of the classes, it's just, are they close to you? And the Technomancer is, do any amount of damage to them, whereas Pyromancer, you have to tag them. And some skills make that easy, like the one that just blanket tags kind of everyone, but that requires an entire skill. Uh, so I've, I've had trouble kind of figuring out the correct way to build my way through a Pyromancer campaign, and I, ha I haven't really researched what endgame Pyromancer builds are. Uh, I know, you know, the lava rounds are great and stuff. But, um, if you have any suggestions for a great Pyromancer build, I would love to hear that in the comments. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to try anything out. I just... I don't know. Something something about the Pyromancer has not really stuck for me yet. Uh, I I experimented going like Ash a little bit, but that just felt too similar to my Freeze build. I don't really understand the difference between Freeze and Ash. If I'm being entirely honest, I don't know what what um, 
the differences there. But uh, and then mass burning, I think, is good. But again, I don't know. Um, I just I feel a little vulnerable and like I'm not healing myself as much as I could uh, compared to many of my other builds. And I, I feel like survivability can be a problem there. Uh, and just overall DPS, I don't I don't feel as great either. So I, I don't I don't really know what I'm doing wrong with Pyromancer, and I can't tell if it's like the class is not amazing or if I'm just kind of terrible at it. Uh, but I've not really experienced this with the other classes, and I've always kind of found ways to to make my own builds and, and figure out ways to have fun with them. And like I do like Pyromancer to a certain extent for for some things, but yeah, I'm 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 probably the most hesitant on. Pyromancer and recommending Pyromancer just based on what I've experienced so far. And like again, I don't have all the skill points. I don't have all the good mods yet and things like that. So maybe there's still more to come and maybe I should, you know, try more, even more diverse builds and, and see where it goes there. But for now, it's it's been a little rough. Uh, and then we'll end with the class I'm about to finish. I think I'm on the last campaign mission uh, behind me there. Um, or pretty close to it, which is Devastator. And ultimately, I think Devastator is my favorite class. I know that Devastator is not like the best endgame class and it cannot put out the kind of DPS consistently uh, that Technomancers and uh, Tricksters especially put out. Um, there is no real firepower based build for uh, Devastators like because they don't have their own um, special enhanced anomaly bullets like the other three classes have, which are those are all kind of the staples of the firepower builds of those other classes. Um, that said, Devastator has some very, very fun anomaly-based builds. And the reason I like Devastator so much is that it is totally mixed up kind of how I play with guns being secondary and me just kind of activating and spamming these skills all over the place. And I am running um, Earthquake and usually Golem, sometimes Reflect Bullets and uh, Impale. And I'm going pretty much full bottom tree for anomaly power, and you get double earthquake, double impale, which are in very low cooldowns, and um, you stack a ton of bleed perks, which will allow you to be healed from all bleed damage uh, you're doing to enemies, which makes you very tanky. In addition to kind of other armor-based bonuses, um, and if I don't have something like impale on, I might have uh, gravity leap, which is essentially the Dev devastator's teleport ability, which lets it jump all over the map and I think you can get double charges of that too um, and it's just it's just fun to be able to rely on skills um, especially you know I'm on world tier 12 about to be 13 and I'm still doing like significant damage to, to boss enemies not I would say uh, some of the <laughs> some of the world bosses like there's some world bosses I played early on with devastator that I my abilities just literally could not even hit like um, the, not the spider boss, but the one that's like, you're looking at like a cave window and there's this giant thing there. And like, I literally couldn't even hit him with any of my abilities. So I had to switch to as pure of a firepower build as I could to even get past that section because Devastator just had like no luck. And like a single bird, like one of the flying bird enemies will totally just bone my entire Devastator build because none of the, almost none of the ground-based skills can hit it. Like sometimes an earthquake can randomly hit it if it gets low enough, but for the most part, like a single bird will just ruin my day. Um, or Strix or, you know, one of the two enemies that fly, which is kind of funny. But I, I really enjoy Devastator. I think all the abilities there are incredibly fun and just really creative. I, I'd say Trickster and Devastator have the two most kind of fun kits of abilities out there. Um, I, I don't know if there's a way to make like an, an anomaly Trickster build work, but there does not seem to be, at least to the same extent that uh, it works on a Devastator. And uh, I just, I, it's it's very fun, and I know it'll have problems when I get to the end game. But I am hoping that if at least people can fly, realize that the other three classes were stronger than Devastator and did some nerfs, that maybe they'll do do some Devastator buffs uh, in the future, and that class will get better. So I am almost taking, you know, I almost have everything to end game now. I have to get through uh, the rest of the game, my Pyromancer, which is I don't know, like forty percent of the game left or something. And I'm about to hit the end game of my um, my Devastator today, and then I'll probably on console just rotate through the three classes and see how things are shaping up. Matchmaking has been a huge pain uh, <laughs> ever since I've, I've been trying to do that. Um, I, hopefully it's been a little better after some of the patches, but that has been probably the biggest deterrent to me actively wanting to do the end game. Uh, and many of my friends who did pick up the game are not quite uh, at the same end game point I'm at, so... 
you know, it's either you solo it and then you have no revives and a single accidental death will make you start all over or you play with randoms that are sitting at their uh, mod <laughs> vendor for 10 minutes before the thing starts or like booting you because you're a devastator and they don't think you're going to do enough DPS or whatever. Um, it's very obnoxious. The whole matchmaking system is, is very poor, um, but that's a whole other thing. And I, I think I've already talked about endgame and endgame enemies and things like that that need changing. But that was uh, my opinions on the four classes. And I'm curious what your thoughts are. And especially, I mean, Pyromancer builds, but I, I would love to try, honestly, any builds that you like. So feel free to suggest some in the comments. My current Devastator build was suggested by a reader to a certain extent. Uh, so I'm, I'm very open to suggestions and I'd love to hear them. So yeah, let me know. Um, Evie is over there. Evie, you snoozing? There you go. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't. Uh, she's already up here, so she's not like running behind me anymore to uh, <laughs> say hi in frame. So I've got to uh, get her when I can. But yep. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care.